health, parastatals, non-government organizations, industrial clinics, mission hospitals, public and private hospitals, other pharmaceutical distributors, health managed organizations, pharmacies and private clinics. Some of us may have some hesitant with distributing, uh, dispensing doctors. Now, having said that, if we do not have a good human resource department, we do not have human beings operating, we wouldn't be here. So we've got a very professionally run human resource department who looks after recruitments, trainings, compensations, performance appraisals, allocation and maintenance of resources. And one can wonder why I'm here for so many years. They look after us pretty well. Our IT department also, we are using a very uh, good SAP operating systems for the people who are in IT. They know that's an enterprise resource planning system since February 2012. It gives us good documentation um, many times I've been complimented on the document, on the invoices that are being generated by Surgifarm. And the system is able to generate efficient uh, information management uh, systems to support marketing activities of the team with the help of Microsoft Power Business Intelligence. Um, it can give us tailor-made automated system reports for the suppliers whenever they need and can give us ex external ac access, can be offered on online visibility of stock movement, which is important for the suppliers. Having said that, over the years, Sergi Farm has been recognized and a recipient of many awards from various principals and organizations. Just to mention a few, we've got award for excellence in business practice excellence in uh, distribution practice, distributor of the year Anglophone Africa Award in 2018, and finally we just got from GSK a compliance award in 2022. Please give Sergi Firm a clap. <laughs> These are some of the awards for your, just to show you. And finally, I can end by saying a quote. Success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing. This is especially to the young pharmacists I'm directing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Sergi Farm, for your continued support to PSK uh, today and always. Um, Abbott Nutrition, are you here? Abbott Nutrition, no, and Jerusha. Jerusha, are you here? Okay, great. So you're you're up next. Um, it seems like you guys are not listening to what I said. So we're going to have a quiz at the end. If I will ask you a question, for example, I will ask you to write a pickup line from yesterday. If you don't score, you don't get your CPD points. So those of us who came here only for those 15 points, minus one for every wrong answer. So text all your friends, your colleagues, tell them there's a quiz at the end. If they are not here, how about CPD points? So we fill this hall. Jazagari. Good afternoon, dear pharmacist. Good afternoon. Yes, I said dear pharmacist, not pharmacists. 
reason being, I wish I knew each one of you by name, then I would greet you by your name. Unfortunately, I don't know, so uh, I wanted to personalize that greeting. It's a great privilege to be here for me. Uh, today, sorry, my computer is uh, uh, catching up. Uh, I am not being... Oh, oh. it's not. I'm told I was not audible. Good morning, good afternoon, dear pharmacists. <laughs> yes, I said uh, I didn't say pharmacists because I like personalizing greetings. Unfortunately, I don't know each one of you by name, uh, and that's why I said that. And it's a, a great privilege for me to be here uh, this morning. Thank you very much, PSK, for this uh, wonderful conference and organization. My name is uh, Jerusha Kamau, a drug expert pharmacist, not a drug dealer. And I am focused on regulatory affairs, pharmacovigilance, and clinical trials. I do concur with our uh, CEO that every Wanjiko should understand the role of the pharmacist in quality healthcare uh, delivery. Several times uh, I've gone to a gathering and I was introduced as Dr. Jerusha. The next thing I'm asked, so Dr. Tadi, where do you practice? And they expect me to be practicing maybe in a health uh, facility. And I tell them I'm a, I'm a pharmacy doctor. The next question is, so what do you do? Which means these people don't understand what a pharmacist does. And today I was very happy with what Dr. Ndemo, uh, Professor Ndomo presented here because he actually gave us an answer to that question. Unfortunately, many of us also are not really prepared to answer that question. So Dr. Adi, where do you practice or what do you do? Uh, Today, I will briefly go through the regulation of MPTs, Innovative Compliance Solutions. But before I do that, I have two questions to ask uh, through the Mentimeter. Uh, two questions to ask. So that you can go to your Mentimeter uh, app and then the first one is, sorry, the first question, please. Okay, sorry, I think there is a hitch there. And because, uh, because of time, I will just ask from the floor. The first question was, how many people here know about regulatory affairs? Please, just by a show of hands. A show of hands, yes, that is great. So many of us know about the regulatory affairs. And uh, in terms of the regulatory affairs, a lot has been talked in this uh, conference about the regulatory affairs. So I will not do so, go so much about that because I would say, like uh, somebody said, that my way has been cleared. So we have heard about the MPT regulation. And so the next thing I'll do, I'll go is, uh, I'll just look slightly at that slide there. Uh, this is Henry Font, one of the greatest entrepreneurs ever known. And he said, thinking is the hardest work uh, there is, which is probably the reason so few engage in it. Uh, that's how we are going to drive the innovations in this industry. Next slide, please. So in terms of introduction, again, we are going to look at uh, very quickly what products are regulated. Products that are regulated are the pharmaceuticals, the medical devices, herbal products, uh, cosmetics are coming into the loop, and the borderline products. Who is regulated? 
who is regulated is very important to us here at JFREX because those are the people that we interact with uh, very, very often. The pharmaceutical manufacturers, the pharmaceutical distributors, the pharmaceutical importers, the, the, the retailers are, already, are also there. So those are the people who are regulated, and of course we know the regulator here in Kenya is the Pharmacy and Poisons Board. And for us, we are not just here in Kenya, we are talking about the East African community, and so we are also dealing with other health authorities in the East African uh, community. And in that space of the regulation, I would like to look at what's the opportunity. Now, uh, interestingly, two people have talked about opportunities here, and they gave some statistics, which are a little variance from what I have, but I believe maybe it depends on when the study was taken. Next slide. Uh, so in terms of opportunity in the Kenyan market, this was a study done by the Ministry of Industrialization, Trade and Enterprise Development in 2020 on the Kenya pharmaceutical industry. And they said the Kenya pharmaceutical industry is worth about $1 billion. Uh, dollars. I don't even start want to imagine how much money that is. And out of that, the local manufacturers in Kenya are able to only satisfy 30% of that, which is 300, uh, $300 million dollars of products. And so in terms of the opportunity for pharmaceutical, for local pharmaceutical industries, we have 70% of that still untapped. I, I think that will be a lot of money. And when we go now regional, because right now we are talking about in pharmaceutical, we are talking about harmonization, we are talking about going regional, we find that in terms of the EAC market, we have a market of about $13.6 billion. And out of that, the Kenyan uh, local manufacturers are able only to supply uh, $6.3 million. US dollars. So again, if you calculate that percent, I didn't want to calculate, we are just looking at the opportunities are th that are there for the local manufacturers. And for us, and, as JFREX, we are looking at how do we come in to support the local manufacturers to be able to tap into this uh, opportunity. So I went ahead and asked myself, if this is only about the pharmaceuticals, what about the herbal products? I didn't have any data on that. But I know from practice it's that it's very limited, probably it's less than 10 percent, so there is opportunity in that. I asked myself, what about the medical devices? I think again it, it is less than 10 percent, and active pharmaceutical ingredients, I think at the moment I know it's almost zero percent. I don't think there is any uh, company that is manufactured with that. So this just tells us the opportunities are, that are there for us uh, to exploit. Next slide. Next slide. So we quickly look at the scope of health products regulation again very quickly. And uh, we look at the whole life cycle of the product right from the pre-market uh, phase to the product registration phase and the post authorization phase. And at JFREX, we, we look at the regulatory uh, solutions across all those phases of products. So at the pre-market phase, in terms of the clinical trials, we help in development of clinical trials, protocols, and pharmacovigilance in uh, clinical trials. In terms of the product registration phase, we are involved in the marketing authorization applications, what many of us call product registrations. We are involved in the pre-registration analysis where applicable. Of course, we are going to look at the GMP inspection preparations and applications. And in that note, we also offer the local agent services as far as that phase is concerned. And post-authorization phase, this is where the bulk of the work is. We also offer the local agent services. We do for macapointrance or what is called, called uh, post-market surveillance in terms of first offering the QPPV services, and the rest of the uh, processes are what is involved in the post-authorization phase. Next slide. Next. Sorry, back. So, um, 
at JFREX, we have an array of regulatory services that we offer to our clients. And as I've said, we do the regulatory services. And here we basically talk about the product registrations, retentions, and variations. We offer the pharmacovigilance services. In terms of uh, setting up your pharmacovigilance system, if you don't have a pharmacovigilance department, we can help you to do that. If you want us to train your staff, we can do that. We do, uh, and we offer the qualified person uh, for pharmacovigilance services as well. Next. Local agent services and clinical trials that I already talked about it. And this, these uh, services, we are not, as I said, we are just not offering them here in Kenya. We are offering them across the East African community and it's within the commercial region. Next. So um, we look at why JFREX, why, for example, you as a company, would you prefer to use the JFREX uh, services rather than maybe have an in-house uh, regulatory department or otherwise? First, uh, we will offer a one-stop shop for all the compliance services, as you have seen. We are covering the your regulatory services from end to end. And so you will not have the headache of trying to think, where will I get uh, somebody to do the registration, somebody to do the pharmacovigilance, and somebody to give me the local agent services. All these services, you can get them, all of them together at uh, JFLEX Consultants. We have first, uh, we have first, regional experience and expertise. And so if you are here in Kenya and you want to expand to the rest of the, of the East African communities, you don't need to go look for agents there. We will be there to help you with that process. Uh, we give cost-effective solutions because all our solutions are customized. We are able to listen to you and understand. Do you want to outsource just a part of your regulatory process? Do you want to outsource the whole of your regulatory process? Or what are your exact needs? And once we understand that, then we are able to take you through a very efficient uh, regulatory process and strategy. And in that case, because of your, our expertise, we are able to to look at your documents very, very well, and this will shorten the turnaround times. I know if I talk about the short around times, people may, be, may be think about uh, the, the time it takes to register a product. I know this is quite a thorn in the fresh for many of the, of, um, the distribu distributors. Unfortunately, uh, this is a regulatory process, but for us, what we need to do is we just ensure that all your documents are good, and so you don't have a two and fourth from the regulator in terms of queries. Uh, we have uh, qualified uh, regulatory uh, expertise. And of course, within our many years of uh, regulatory compliance, we have developed very uh, good networks that help us to smoothen many of the processes that we are involved in. Next slide, please. Yes. So in terms of where you can find us, of course, that is very brief in terms of what we do. So if you want to know more about us, you can contact us through those, uh, that contact there. And you can also visit us at our booth. Our booth is not outside there in the tent. Our booth is there. We have a banner there. And at the, at the end of this, I'll be there to be able to answer most of your questions. So that is our booth, and you are welcome to it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. There's a cost for that booth, which was not included in the quotation. It shall be sent. <clears throat> so we've almost come to the end of... Hamjambani. So I'm going to turn this like this over here on the side so that I can be seen. I forgot to wear my heels, I promise. <laughs> now, you know, I normally sit with her knees and the things this guy says... <laughs> anyway, Asante Nisana, we are now finally, finally at the end of our conference. We are starting, you know, when um, if you're in a plane, this is where they'll say, kindly, the attendants, take your seats, the plane is about to take off. So that's where we are now. Sindio, then we go have a bit of the afternoon going on. Oh, we are descending. 
Ah, good. Now, we are taking off. What do you mean? We are leaving here to go do big things. Sindio. We are leaving here, then we go. We have resolutions we've made. We have plans we've made. We are not landing. We are taking off. We are taking off. From here, Niju. Naju, Naju, Naju. Sindio. All right. So, I want to, first of all, acknowledge the young right hands I have had at this conference. I have the tech team, uh, Kina Cohen, Kina Hezron, and uh, I have uh, Peter Odiambo, who has been responsible for collecting all the information that we are going to now take off with. Sindio, I want you guys to stand up and I end with. <laughs> Smolini, I've been harassing them. These are young pharmacists going places. Sawa, sawa. Hiya. Now, when we started this journey for the conference, we had, we sat down and we were like, we are going to do a sponsorship package and then we are going to have a title sponsor. Then we blindly went out there and we said, ah, let us try. And then, we were lucky enough. We had Family Bank put up their hand and they said, we want to walk this journey with the Pharmaceutical Society of Kenya. And now, I just want to give them a few minutes to come close and then we now close as us. I'll see you. Aya. And then as they come to the stage, I'd like to call my core team, the VP, practice, advocacy, governance. Karibuni apa, Mr. President, we are going to sit here so that we do everything that needs to be done from the front. I'll see you. Karibuni sana. And these people are not here to tell you things. We are here to now say the things that we said. Resolutions. Who is taking what? Who is going to do what? And we are going to run with it. We are taking off. Cindy, oh? Aya. Family Bank. Karibu. I think this is the first conference we've gone where the title sponsor has sat the entire conference. I think I'm a kaapa's idea when Gino. So, All right. Yeah. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon to the PSK uh, team. Now, um, obviously, we've sat in through the whole session because there's a lot for us to learn uh, through the session. Um, the partnership means a lot to us, uh, given that you know the health of the nation is ideally more man money into our, all, into, into our pockets, all of us. And as Family Bank, uh, we take that literally and, and very serious in as far as the partnership is concerned both at individual level and also all the way uh, to the business levels. Um, so just very quickly, uh, the PSK obviously holds membership of professionals. Uh, within Family Bank, we also have a professional's docket, which ideally takes care of your interests, so that we have that attention that is given to you as professionals. I would like to introduce to you uh, the person who's holding fort at the professional's desk, so that she can just come up here and say uh, a word of jumbo to all of us. Good afternoon. All protocols observed. Ladies and gentlemen, I recognize the presence of a lot of doctors in any seating. My name is Bilha Janira Inyanya. I head the professionals docket. I handle professional bodies and professional organization plus individuals. That is like PSK, we walk the journey with the CEO just to start the sponsorship. I also work with LSK and other professional bodies around. I also work with individuals. Uh, so as an individual, what is it for you? From your salary 
staff salary, how we can facilitate with your staff salary. I'm also a little bit biased on liquidity uh, liability. If you have some good cash with you somewhere and you want it to mature well at an interest rate uh, from my docket, I'll be able to negotiate with you a very affordable interest rate. Uh, apart from just interest rate, all investment options as professional, all the services that are affluent, opulence, and excellence at my docket. And I was busy at the tent. I'm sorry for those who told you, let's have some space to concentrate in the inside because I love customer service. I only want to be in between your lunch and the break. Uh, let's meet at the tent. And uh, thank you for being with us. Be blessed. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Bilha. Um, our keynote speakers, uh, Pharmaceutical Society of Kenya, led by the president, Dr. Machogu, Pharmaceutical Society of Kenya members present, private sector players present, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. My name is Floyd Mashemo. I head the transaction banking and ecosystems within Family Bank. Good afternoon. I am certain that the past three days have been insightful and through the deliberations that have been taking place, we are all going to live here informed and challenged. I would like to thank the Pharmaceutical Society of Kenya for yet another year organizing this annual scientific conference which creates a platform for members and private sector players such as Family Bank uh, to converge and discuss how best to contribute to the healthcare value chain. Ladies and gentlemen, as a critical player in the sector, I would like to reiterate our value proposition as a bank. We are committed to building a financial support system uh, linking your business to suppliers and linking micro, small, medium enterprises through simplified technology such, such as online platforms, direct integrations. We heard about ERPs being mentioned here earlier, uh, and open banking with other players in the value chain. In addition, through our ecosystem financing. Our goal is to provide you with working capital, lending and increased debt of payments. With this, we are confident that your businesses will enjoy an increase in top line sales, help you manage cash flow, lock in consumer loyalty uh, to your brand, optimize costs and spread your risks, especially under the diverse economies or economics. Ladies and gentlemen, at Family Bank, we are here to serve you and your businesses, and we are ready to offer a one-stop shop where you can conveniently borrow, insure, move, and save. Our goal as Family Bank is to become your bank of choice as you grow in your business and profession. I urge you, the entire PSK fraternity, to capitalize on the available opportunities we have, uh, we have lined up for you. Just like family, we are here to walk the financial journey with you every step of the way, and our doors are always open. As I conclude, allow me to thank the members and leadership of PSK uh, for the opportunity to partner with Family Bank we are grateful and look forward to a more prosperous journey together. The key takeaway is that we have the capacity to finance your route to market and improve your liquidity through innovative, co-created solutions while moving your money securely. The gaps that were shown to us this afternoon, we are available and ready to partner with you and try and scale you to be able to uh, minimize on those gaps, more specifically in the space of manufacturing. Thank you, 
and Karibuni Family Bank. Asante Sana, Family Bank. Uh, we thank you for the plans that we have. We have a lot of plans, plans that we cannot talk about until we actualize them. I know we'll go back to Nairobi, we'll have a lot more to engage on. And thank you so much for being here with us. All right? Now, I'd like to invite the CEO to start us off. Uh, in this closing session, and then from that, we'll go to now, resolutions. Sawa. I'm looking at the time. I remember we said that we are just going to be here briefly. Uh, okay, so, uh, Dr. Machogu will talk over. <laughs> Thank you. Um, our national treasurer, Dr. Angelina Choka. Thank you. Uh, I think their family has many doctors. Uh, the brother is a chair, Central Rift, Dr. Achoka. The sister is with the brother in a business in, the sister, your sister is a medic. Yes, she's a surgeon. A surgeon, yes. So they are well learned in that family. So thank you for serving us. Uh, she's an industry player uh, in uh, supply chain supply chain experts. So we have come to the end, but it's again a beginning. Yeah, it's like, uh, I think it's been a lot of uh, enjoying and uh, by the way, yesterday, this has, been, this has been a conference of a lot of firsts. Will you know your team building in Liko Kochini? Wangapu I can see you all. Eh? And you still managed to come here. Some of us, if we checked like we checked last night, we will still be now. Will is now calling wheelbarrows. Someone was talking about wheelbarrows. <laughs> we need to be carried in wheelbarrows to this morning, yeah. But I was there watching, and I was really. I think the profession is growing. There's a new face in the profession. But what I'm liking about the new face is we are also there to shepherd them inside and lift them. Sindio. Some of these guys will go. Our ceiling will be their floor. Sindio. That's the whole idea, the pipeline to just keep going. So thank you all for spending time with us. I know some of us has, have left because uh, there were no enough lights. How was the, this place in terms of, uh, it's our first time to be out of Westerns. I think uh, there's a pharmacist, I think she's here, and I know she'll see me and uh, stand as I say. Uh, she's been coming here since her daughter was one year old. Oh, sorry, is it one year old? No, since they were in the stomach. Now, the, the, the daughter, is it where? Uterus. I'm aware. <laughs> Let me keep quiet. Uh, now, they don't even stand. Today, the daughter is 19 years old. I think the birthday is this, um, this, this week. Yeah? And she's here with us. Does she want to stand? But I'm sorry for using the wrong place of the place where children come from. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Her biosimilar has come out. She's here. We hope she'll be a pharmacist. Dr. Mwenda, when you are coming in, she is here with the daughter and the son. The son wants to be a pharmacist. He's just finished high school. Isn't the profession growing? Yeah? The daughter is a lawyer. Yeah? Tunazeeka na wengine wana? Wanakuja. Yeah. And I think it's just that thing of uh, what is the way of a pharmacist. Ndiyo kisima mamali unasema I am a pharmacist. People know what you are doing. Sindio? Yeah. Our sector is so diverse. But I think it's just this new generation that's coming in and we delegating uh, that will take us uh, forward. So in the spirit of delegation, that's why we have our, this leader sitting here. In one of the resolutions from last conference was we need to operationalize three vice presidents. Yeah. Vice President of Governance, Dr. Daniela Munene. Oh, sorry, Governance, yes. Yeah, yeah. Are we? Yeah, Dr. Daniela Munene, please stand up so members can appreciate you. Or wave. Uh, Dr. Joseph Kadare, Vice President of Practice. 
He's really been championing uh, MTM. I remember going to the central, no, not central lift, the, where Kajado is. What rift is that? Chairman. Chairman. No, your, your branch. South, South Rift, yeah? No, which South Rift? There. Yes, South Rift. Narok, Narok, that's what I meant, yeah? So I went to Narok. There's a pharmacist who got a job at Bomet, in Bomet because he went to an interview and said, I've come here to do MTM. Nobody in that interview panel knew what MTM was. So what medication therapy management, those of you who don't know, it's a patient-centered care-focused uh, approach, yeah? And he was talking about uh, medication action plan, medication review plans. He was just looking at the notes he got from. <laughs> and he got a job. The next thing he did, he went back to Kadare's clinic in uh, Ruiru to be trained. See, Kadare runs a clinic in Ruiru. Uh, he's called doctor? Yes, yes. He's a young pharmacist who just believed in himself and what his elder has taught him. See, yeah. yeah. Then we have our Vice President, Dr. Tabitha Kimani, Vice President. It used to be called lobbying, but now I think from the poll yesterday we said it's called advocacy because lobbying has a negative corner. Yeah, yeah. So in the past conferences, I think for the last four, four times or five times, I don't even know how, how long I've been president for. I have been summarizing the resolutions. So we have like seven or eight resolutions, and each of these leaders will take like two of them. Yeah? So that every AGM, they are updating us. Every conference, they are updating us. Yeah? Because Mimi Nikonjia, Yango Kuenda. I will be updating you on two things that are dear to me the manufacturing plant. So we agree we need a manufacturing plant for us by us. For us, by us as Kenyan pharmacists, but also for us, by us as African pharmacists. I've showed you the SMSs I keep getting about someone wanting to buy a manufacturing plant. If we are left snoozing, best practice will be just someone else, not us offering it. So send an SMS and I will invite you to that Zoom meeting where we'll be discussing intimately about that uh, matter. Uh, even members who are not here can still uh, uh, sign in and uh, join in that conversation. So now I'll be handing over to my CEO, Dr. Nyabero. Uh, last time he was here, he was wearing a Maasai regalia. Today he's in PSK regalia. Makofiake, uh, as he comes. And I, I'll just go back and sit now and listen. Because even me, I want to take and keep them accountable. I think he's done a good job. We can give him a good clap. As f um, for those who had the privilege of teaching him when he was in school, we need to re refresh the anatomy of where babies come from. So I don't think he gets that really well. So um, this has been a very, 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 very exciting um, um, conference. It's my first conference. Um, what I take from it is very, very simple. Disrupt, innovate, collaborate. Three words. Disrupt, innovate, collaborate. I'm going to be very short about this. Family Bank, when we sat down with them, it was amazing. It's like we were reading from the same script. Um, one of the things that ails a lot of our pharmacists is how do you fund what you do? Who understands your business? Who understands your ratios? Are you a good risk, a bad risk? What type of risk are you? That is something that we don't have right now. We don't have any information to show why are you doing well, are you not doing well? So one of the things that we discussed, and I think they agreed to help us come up with a study to reach out to everyone who's running a pharmacy to see what are those ratios we need to do. How many prescriptions, what is the profit per prescription, blah, 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 turnover rate, and that will help us design an algorithm of your risk profile, which then will allow you to get funding and other support. So that's a good thing that Family Bank is going to help us do. So I think we, they deserve a clap for that. The other thing is the Pharmacy Practitioners Bill. We are looking for about 2 million shillings. Somebody graciously, I don't know whether she's here, 
gave us 200,000 already. So if we divide per, per branch, we say we're going to put 100 or 150, have a car wash to raise funds to get the bill done. We were hoping and we still are believing that by the time the new leaders are sworn in, we will have a document to present to them. Actually, if we can do it before they are sworn in, identify those who agree with us and can support us so they get a bill that they can push. So that is what we are hoping to do. Please join us because the rain has been beating us for too long. Now let's build a shelter. This is the shelter we are looking for. And think about it. I don't know how many people are left here right now. If everyone decided to give 1,000 or 2,000 shillings, only. Yes. If, if, if all of us sent 1,000, 2,000, what you are going to have for spa today, send that amount if you are going to do spa. If we send that, think about it. If we have 1,000 people and everyone gives 1,000, that's a million shillings, right? 1,000 people, both all of everybody gives 2,000, that's 2 million shillings right there. That is how we make, that's how we influence what happens to us. We can't just go, we can't just keep on going and saying, we are, oh, pharmacists, 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 this, that, and the other. We need to also build a shelter that's going to be strong. So please support us. I am here, we are here, and we will actually push. Think about that. We'll push to make sure everything works the way it should. So the practitioner's bill, and I'm calling it practitioners for a reason. A wise member of uh, who was sitting here mentioned to me that there is a thing about pharmacists being practitioners, providers, or not providers. And the question is, we are providers, because we provide every day. If you name the bill, pharmacy practitioner's bill, there is no question whether you're a practitioner or not. It starts from saying you're a practitioner, so you should be paid for your cognitive services, not just for the medications you give. If you come and talk to me about how to use your ARVs, I should be able to be paid for that service. And that's why we are calling it the practitioner's bill. So that's the question. That's number two. Number three, mentorship. Remember I said disrupt, innovate, collaborate. If we do not mentor the upcoming group, then we have a leadership gap. When you have a leadership gap, everyone else jumps in. And then you have issues where you're not sure where you are. So please, 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 all of us can be mentors in one way or another. You can talk to somebody, guide somebody. Let's get very professional. Let's just be irreproachable. Uh, to, when we were doing the family planning, uh, Dr. Yele will talk about this. For every minute anyone was late, they pay 10 shillings. For every minute they were late, they pay 10 shillings. Why? Because when you're on time, you show that you value both your time, you respect your time, and you respect the other person's time. Even if it's a patient, small things like those show that we are beyond reproach. So how do we make sure that our profession is handled and supported by professionals who have professional values that are beyond reproach? So that's another thing. So mentorship, get them, mentor the young folks as they grow. The last thing, the other thing, sorry, there is upgrading of our skills. For example, at USIU, they do have a um, program that they're running for immunization, which also I think UON also runs that. All of us should go through that program. If we all are certified as immunizers, when they come and say, where are the immunizers, you'll say, I am here, and here's my certificate, right? So that proves that you're ready. Be ready for an opportunity before it shows up. When it shows up, you're ready for it. If an opportunity shows up, bless you. If an opportunity shows up, bless you. If an opportunity, again, bless you. Oh. If an opportunity shows up before you're ready, then you'll have an issue. But if you have be ready for an opportunity before it shows up, then you can take it up. So let's be ready. So that's a program that's there. I think UON has a program. Uh, USIU has a program where if you want to see us after this, we will be able to do that. The other thing about upgrading, there's going to be probably a survey going out. There's been a lot of, there's been a lot of, um, what do I say? That I went to school and I did a doctor of pharmacy program. 
Um, it's a clinical program. It is a different program in that it gives you tools to actually, I remember when I was in school, I don't know if they're still doing that. I actually even was taught how to do pap smears. I did colonoscopies. This is when, before I finished school. I had about 2,000 hours with patients before I finished school, uh, where I was in charge of their patient and the therapy management. So how do we do that? How do we make sure that we get upscale to a point where you'll be able to run um, a patient from top to bottom? So that's another thing. So there's a survey that's going to go out. The survey is going to ask. We're trying to find out. I think the um, University of um, USIU is trying to find out details about how to do it, what are some of the needs, what do you think it's necessary, what do you think should be added into it. So that's that about that. Last but not least. Yes. Last but not least. I came here on... On the opening day, I was absolutely nervous. None of you could see it. I was sweating bullets, but none of you saw it. Because I was so worried about how I was dressed, because the way we dress sometimes says a lot about you. And I did not understand the value of what I did. The thing I learned from myself, which is weird, I'm talking about myself in third person, but the thing I learned from myself was push and jump. Sometimes the fear that you have before you jump is actually more debilitating than what you get on the other side. I learned a lesson that I should not second guess myself too much. Our profession is at an inflection point. I have met seeing how the things are happening that shouldn't be happening. No, no, no. I see an opportunity. There is a big opportunity. There is a big gap ahead of us that you can fill. We need the tools that we need. We need the proper tools. We need to work together as a team. We need to collaborate, innovate, and we are going to be able to disrupt this space. So I am so honored to be your CEO and to, to serve you all. And I am available for any time, anyone. Just give me a call. I'm happy to answer your call, and we'll talk. Thank you so much, and I truly appreciate this moment. Yeah, uh, as they said, the resolutions. I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Massey. Oh, there you are. Dr. Masi Nabwire, National Treasurer for KMPDU. The SG, the SG is in Geneva uh, on an extended work study thing. So he, he sent his uh, members of KMT, KMPDU Mkwapi. Support uh, uh, Treasurer Wen Raya. Yeah, thank you, uh, Madam Treasurer. All right. Our Madam Treasurer now. Okay. <laughs> Yes, yeah. Madam Treasurer. Money, Money. anyway. Yeah. Karibu sana. Now, uh, we will have VP Governance come. It's two minutes. Remember, we said two o'clock we go for lunch, right? Sindio? Okay. VP Governance. Then we'll have VP Advocacy. Then we'll have VP Practice finish for us. And then after that, I would love to call our Madam Convener to close for us. Okay? Sawa. I love to call pool. Okay. Have you, if you look at your WhatsApp, uh, the resolutions have been shared. I hope you have received them. If you have not received them, your neighbor has received them, ask them to forward to you. So I would just first... It's not clear? Hello? Can you hear? We can hear. Oh. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think, uh, I think we need to give you a, a little bit of a, an explanation about the various uh, VP roles. Um, so the constitution provides that we, uh, the NGC selects three vice presidents to assist the president and the roles of the three vice presidents are to be based on the 
the thematic areas that the society wants to focus on or the agenda that the president has uh, for the society. And so the three areas that the NGC uh, identified is um, governance, uh, uh, practice, and advocacy. So let me explain a little bit about the role of governance. Uh, think of PSK as both an organism and an organization, which is really what it is. As an organism, that's the DNA of who we are as pharmacists. That is the, the knowledge we have, the knowledge we continue to acquire, the specific role we play in society. And that's uh, to do with practice. Now, we are also an organization. We might be the most brilliant minds or not, I don't know. But whatever the case, however brilliant we are, however gifted we are, what, and, and however big the role the society uh, places on us, as PSK, the association, we cannot advance our agenda if we are not organized. An organization has nothing to do with the fact that we are pharmacists. We need a code or a system of operating with systems and structures. So in terms of the governance at PSK, the, 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 the most sovereign entity of the association is the member, is yourselves. So you, you're our bosses. Now you're the most sovereign entity. Now to guide what the society will do for you and through you, we have a constitution. And I hope you know what our constitution provides for. So for me, the constitution is the, the biggest instrument by which I have to ensure that the structures at PSK are aligned. And so the constitution provides for certain structures. The supreme governing uh, uh, structure is called the NGC. They're the, they're the supreme decision makers on your behalf. And you have delegated this authority to them through the, in the instrument of the constitution. So the National Governing Council, 40 odd people, is drawn from leadership of committees, leadership of branches, and the national neck. And so as a subset of that NGC, we then have the neck. These are your elected officials, the president, the national treasurer, the three VPs that have been selected by the NGC, as the constitution provides, and represent one representative of branch, one representative of committees, and sector representatives. The NEC then, on a day-to-day -day basis, works hand-in-hand -hand with the secretariat to implement projects of the society in accordance to the strategic plans that have been made, depending on the season and the term. And so, having given that background, I see that one of our resolutions is to develop a 20-year rolling pharmaceutical master plan based on the discussions we've had in this conference. So as VP governance, I will take charge of that. It will be an overarching, very high-level plan, but it needs to be broken down into strategic plans for every a term of uh, PSK officials is three years, another three years, another three years. So we will break that 20 years into shorter terms and so my immediate um, uh, responsibility coming out of this conference is to convene the NEC to make that master plan circulated to members for input. And based on that, we shall then hive off three to five years, we will decide, and make a strategic plan for those three to five years. Now, all that strategic plan still needs to be within the instruments that govern us. It cannot be contrary to the constitution. It cannot be contrary to the members' wishes. So I hope you've understood the role of the VP governance. I will do my best to do a good job. Thank you. So VP governance will take uh, the 20 year rolling pharmaceutical master plan. So it's rolling, so it, it, it will have elements of five year, three years, you know, like that. Huh? Uh, VP governance also will, uh, so that was that. Uh, yeah, I think this was, um, needs to be, so secretariat cuts across. Your secretariat cuts across, yeah? Uh, practice, come and tell us. Oh, it's log, oh, um, uh, advocacy, yeah. Thank you, President. I will not belabor much, because I think I got an opportunity uh, to talk uh, yesterday. Uh, so maybe, uh, Cohen, you can have the roles again for those maybe uh, who are not uh, present. Uh, so 
Daniela has elaborated uh, what governance is all about. In a way, we find that our roles also kind of intertwine because you'll need advocacy uh, for all the activities uh, that you're going to be doing. So I'll not read everything. Uh, so just passing leadership, data, uh, political involvement, and policy. As I mentioned yesterday, political involvement is ongoing. Uh, we hope by 9th of August we shall be able to know what you're supposed to do. But as per the resolutions that um, the members have requested, uh, we have strategy and members appraisal. I know it also cuts across in governance. Uh, there's also the aspect of membership fee and value for what uh, we are proposing as pharmacists. Uh, we had a meeting some time back uh, where we had the opportunity to meet with the PPB uh, CEO and there were some resolutions that we passed on how besides increasing the membership, what we can do with the membership that we get that we guarantee that it's going to be sustainable, not only for the 20 years, but also for the 50 years that he's going to talk about. So we are working on that. Uh, we hope to get a way forward. Uh, we hope to get members can also give suggestions. We've put in uh, suggestions on what we want to have. Uh, there are some things that we also would like our members to benefit from. Uh, so it's a work in progress. Uh, so we are hoping in the next AGM we shall be able to table out all the outfits, all the things that we discussed uh, during that meeting that will benefit the members and hence uh, the increase for the fee. About the fee, uh, we'll also discuss with the NEC and we see what will be the most appropriate fee so that we pay. But there's no way we can increase the fee if the 10,000 that we are supposed to pay, we are not paying. Uh, I was looking for something that I wanted to share and I'm sure you've seen this meme that goes around uh, where you have a man enters into a Maasai Manyata and he's kicked out because you're told you do not sleep in a house that you don't pay what? You don't pay rent. So let us not be in a house that we don't pay rent. We expect the water to flow. We expect the electricity to flow. And yet we are here accusing and calling other names that, oh, PSK is not doing this, PSK is not doing that, yet you're not facilitating us to do that. So let us enhance on our membership. Tell a friend to tell a friend. You can sponsor, for example, uh, Professor Ndemo. Maybe you can sponsor Eva for one year membership if she's not able to pay. Hold her hand. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes. So that we are all speaking in the same language. Even the ones who are not employed are able to meet that. So let us pull one another uh, so that we get our membership. However, as my parting shot, we need to stand up to the occasion. And I've always said, if we can replace the word with who, uh, but with how, we are going to go places. Let us look at, not look at who is going to do it, how are we going to do it. I'll be sending a Google form, kindly fill that form, it will have all sorts of questions in the manner and direction that you want this advocacy to go to. We will make noise, that one rest assured, but we can only make noise if you give us the things and the direction you want us to make noise for. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I mean, that's really important, uh, members to pay up, because really every year we are actively paying up members. Uh, the best we've ever done in any year was during Dr. Conge's term, when she was treasurer, it was 1,400 in one year? Members, yeah, they are about, yeah? Yet we have 5,000 active members out here, any pharmacists, and even uh, more who benefit from PSK advocating and uh, creating awareness. Uh, so we have Madam Treasurer here. One of the agenda is to see what's the value that they unpack for you, but also to show you which members are, you know, uh, how comes, why are the members not joining? Is it that they maybe they don't know val the value that they'll get? So they need to package something together with the Secretariat. 
around membership fees. Um, uh, what else? Vice President practice, Dr. Kadare? Good afternoon. Muko Salama. You know, I'm not used to this fixed thing. When you are teaching, you are used to go there, you go there, so in and it's umbuanga. So, uh, thank you, Mr. President. Mm. And I'm going to stand again. I'm not able to sit down. Uh, and thank you, colleagues. My senior colleagues, uh, academician, uh, fellows, uh, especially Professor Loa, Professor Demo, and, and, and PSK held us. In Meru, we recognize Njori Sheke members. Is it? So uh, I want to salute all of you and my fellow hustlers who on ground. So, <laughs> so I, want to say, I want to thank God, number one, for giving us the gift of life and helping us to travel here and then go back tomorrow. Is it OK? Yep. The only challenge we have, we are in South Coast, in Yamasonko. And I know you are, you are Munashanga. What is happening in South Coast? South Coast is meant for us, Masonko. That's why you cannot see a lot of movement. So I think next time we should come here. Now, <laughs> now I want, I know I didn't have time to present, but Dr. Honor Abukwain, give me strain 16 for Professor Demo. Uh, and I think I have mine one I'll just show there. I want to challenge our brain power, just two minutes. You know, we are a big community and we are very brilliant people. And the society knows that. And there is an expectation, not for us as colleagues, but for the entire nation, as far as pharmacists is concerned. And this expectation is to bring change and innovation, both to us and to the country. And you see, when we spent a lot of time yesterday talking about one individual, sometimes I was feeling a lot of pain. And I wish you could have spent time talking about the founder of Cosmos. And we ask ourselves, in 10 years to come, who among us will interview the Kemsa CEO in his company as a HR manager or CEO? That's the thinking. We ask ourselves, who among us, the exchange firm, in the next 10 years, will be able to employ a CEO who can govern the institution? I was saying I want to be a competitor to Kemsa in 10 years to come in my company and interview that CEO to come and govern my company or family bank. That is the direction we need to think. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm pioneering the pharmacy practice or practitioner's bill. We know the problem. Okay? We know the problem. Number one, we must fight poverty among us. Do you understand? We must fight poverty. That's where we need to start. Because under our practice today, we are not able to make money so well because of the structure we have. Do you understand? The specialities that we have with the prof here, we are not able to make a referral model that can build our practice. Let me ask you, prof, I know, I know Wazea to Kanangu Kimeru, but they, they can be called. Let, let, let prof come here. He, he is my mentor. You see? <laughs> so look at prof a pharmacotherapy specialist for many years. Probably maybe a few years you'll take a rest and watch at what we do. I think we have several clinical pharmacists here among us. And I want us to ask ourselves, how many drug therapy issues have referred to him before he sit down and retire? How many drug cases you have seen over the counter the county level, in a day, or community pharmacy, that they need issues. But we have never made a referral to this man. How do you grow? How many penetration you have referred patient over the counter community level? How many to your patient? You can only survive when Cosmos will pay your air ticket to come here. You can't survive yourself. 
Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Prof. I don't know. I don't know where we are, whether we understand. I said last year, if pharmaceutical company does not sponsor us, a quarter of this hall will not be full. You can't pay for yourself, for your wife, and for your children to come to South Wait, Diane here. Perceive that those things are there. You can't. And we spend hours talking about one CEO comes to see who is earning a million. We spend that time. So give me a calculation, Honorable Coin. Open the one document. I want to see the service model that we are propelling in pharmacy practitioners bill. I don't see where the money is and what can help us and our children. All medical doctors, their children are international school. Do you know what's the international school? <laughs> you don't know. Let me tell you. Let, let me tell you. You don't know. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. There's a student from USIU who was presenting here yesterday. I want to show you difference. I want to show you difference. Just hold on. She's still in uh, Dandy, I think. The presentations you made yesterday about pro-drug and synthesis, I know Dr. Trev is behind it. Some of us could not do PowerPoint when we're in second year. How, how are you doing? I'm just telling you the truth. So have you done it? Open the one. Open the one coin. So if you look at the talk sorting or service model, service model, apart from the product, is what has kept them today. A senior gynecologist, I don't want to mention their name, doc. You know them, Doctors Plaza Kennedy will change 5,000 consultations. Is it okay? You have been going there, isn't it? I don't want to name them because you know them, isn't it? A consultation for 20 minutes, especially ENT, Professor 1, 2, 3, you know them. The diabetology, you know them. Isn't it, Professor, you know them. It's 5,000. Now, if I want, I, want, I want to challenge your brain power so that when you are going home, your wife will ask you, why are you not happy? You are crying. Tell, him, tell her I was born to die poor. Tell her when you go back home. So, take, just, just, she is able to see, I know them, she is able to see four patients per day. Doctor's Plaza. I won't tell you her name. Times 5,000. That is the cue I know. Where I go to ask for MTM services, I know them. Okay? So, that is, no, 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 you are, are you correct? Yes. I increase fund, please. Dr. Haley, you can expect, you can see where. <laughs> so, so, this is what, where I went to seek for collaborative drug management model with that. Please help me. I see only two for you. Only two. Two, two for you. She told me, what are you talking about? I told you two only. I give you a PML only. Please. Don't charge. I won't charge into the I won't just to see. I show you how it looks like. A PML. Now, look, what, what is yes. a PML? Oh, personal medication list. Okay. <laughs> So this is what she, and she goes out and says the rest for one them tomorrow, tomorrow. So can you say times five days? Honorable coin. <laughs> I, I, have you seen it? Now these are the guys. Do you know doctors plus? Do you know Kenny? They call CMC and tell please, can you bring me a new V8 at the parking? The guys bring the V8. They go to the doctor. They take the old key. They take the old car. They go with the old car. They leave the new V8 at the parking. I'm just telling you the real story, not just a story. I'm telling you the reality. This one, there is no family bank loan. You, you do, you can never. This one. This one. This one. And yes, the director's step. Actually, you have pay slip beyond that, that what? That rule. They can't take another loan. They have pay slip. They can't take another loan. <laughs> So, brethren, at least we understand. Do you need masters to sit down with the patient and talk about drug issues? Do you need it? Yes. If you look at slide 16 for Professor Demo, he was talking about the way you can respond as pharmacist to evolution and evolvement we have is addressing DRP. Drug related what? Problems. So I don't want to go times one month. Because, <laughs> because, <laughs> because, 
Because, because your wife is going to abuse you. What are you doing when other men are looking for money? <laughs> Don't make it. So, 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 so these are the guys we did anatomy together the first year. We did both men the course together. Okay. And we separated the third year. And they were actually they found pharmacology. You know, pharmacology is a problem to them. Okay? Yes. These are the guys. This is not about consultant. I'm talking about an EMO who is coming from where I work in county at 12, goes to Akan two hours, goes to Mpsha two hours. Each two hours is 4,000. When in a WhatsApp group where county has not paid for almost 20 days, Pomas is asking, where are we going to be paid? Oh, there's not even a single EMO. No one. No one is complaining. Even drug company make a CME, oh, the, the, the 90% of attenders in the pharmacy, they are making money there. They are there. So practice practitioners bill, pharmacy practitioners bill we want. We want to structure that somebody must look for a service of a pharmacist. From the basic B farm level to the spirit level. We must, we must develop our whole farm model. I mean, Dr. Kithinje, my, my teacher, Meru, Meru, Motingo Pharmacy. You can see, you can see 200 diabetic patients over the counter and dispensing Grevonox, and all of them, they are getting lost in Karakoromon there. No. We need to refer them to Professor Mbega, uh, Professor Ndemo. We need to refer them. Yes, in Kovoko. We can't. We must develop our own practice. If we want you and you to pay for three pharmacies in that department for this conference, you alone, you sign a check of 150, John, you attend conference, Kamau, you attend, and Agnes, I pay for you from my private practice. That's why we want to go. Are we together? By the way, just, uh, Dr. Yes. Kadaro, just hold on there. Oh, thank uh, you, I've seen Dr. Dr. Yaile putting a thousand shillings to the pharmacy practice bill, Makofiake. I can see Dr. Uh, Chairman, uh, Regulatory Pharmacist, 10,000 to the Pharmacy Practice Bill and Pesa Till Number. I've seen Dr. Konje, 2,000 shillings. Ziko Hapa, Asasa Anataka Ushike Simiyako. Tukusema tu, remember we are buying drinks today, at the end of the day. You are not paying the bill. Yeah? I can see Dr. Masi Nabwire, National Treasurer, KMPDU, 2,000. So I'm talking to you, I'm going to show you how to do it. Come on, 1,000, come on, 2,000, as you wish. Because what will happen is, already we have a colleague who has already given us 200,000. Yeah? And the colleague, let me just see if she's here. I can't, I can't see well, you remember. But she has been here the last two days. Yeah? The colleague has already given us 200,000 to make, and she does not see patients, by the way. Yeah? She's not the one who's going to benefit from a pharmacy practice bill. Yeah? Um... Uh, when Professor Ndemo retires, he needs to go to, uh, at forties and he sees his patients there. Sindio? Yeah? But you can't because patients are dying of, they think they died of malaria or they, did the, they died of high, uh, heart, heart uh, failure, but it's because of the medication related injuries and resolve drug problems, yeah? Inappropriate drug use and things like that. So to me, to me, I'm Pay bill. So what they'll do with that money, we have a legal drafter. They'll make the pharmacy practice bill. You want, as soon as the next parliament starts like this, our bill is in. And within a year or two, three, because you know, it takes long. It's already because MOH, everyone has to put their input, but we are the ones to drive this thing. All we need is two million for that thing to see the light of day. So I think that's good secular involvement. Mkitaka mnezenda family bank wa uh, emergency loan, <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. So, are we okay? Are we able to wrap it at this time? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, please. Yeah. So, my coffee, Dr. Kadare. Kusema na kutanda. That's what you'll see. This team here, we and NGC make bring issues. We want to hear them. Yeah. And then from there, we will do. Oh. Dr. Christabel? 2000. Uh, Chair Kewefa, Kenya Women Pharmacists. 
Association, Asante to Mona, your 2000. That's how all the young ladies or in pharmacies too was an was in the kitchen. Chair lady, wow. Ah, uh, sawa. At this point, I'd like to thank the leadership. Tokeni kwa state sasa, Asante sana. And I'd like to call the conference convener to close for us and to give us a vote of thanks. Asante sana. This has been Angeline. It was fun hosting you guys. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm so happy to see many of you here. Closing ceremony. Um, we've had about the resolutions. We've had everyone speaking. So I'd like to just mention one thing that I feel has not been mentioned. Uh, one of the committees at PSK, uh, the head, um, I think it's an education committee. Uh, are launching their pharmaceutical journal, are launching the pharmaceutical journal of Kenya, right? Uh, and uh, Prof. Ora, I would like to give you some, you know, just thank you for doing this. You show so much passion. I remember um, when I said uh, being a convener, and uh, Prof came to me and I said, hey, please hold my hand. Because she's, she's, done, she's done this job that I'm doing for more than 10 years, even 20 years. And I told her, you know what, you have to hold my hand, show me where to go, uh, be my mentor, my coach. And she has been. So for the Pharmaceutical Journal of Kenya, of Kenya it's been launched by them. And uh, we just... We just want to acknowledge the editors, Prof. Orwa, uh, Dr. Kimani, Nelly Kimani, Dr. Lucy Tirop, Dr. Tabitha Ndomo, Dr. Michael Mungoma, Dr. Betty Mbatia, Dr. Mwangi Mugo, Assistant Editor, Dr. Nadia Bhatt. Uh, the Editor-in-Chief, by the way, is Prof. Apollo Maima. And uh, of course, the PSK National Executive Council members. And uh, I just want to say that it will be circulated uh, very soon. I think, if not today, it will be circulated by next week. So please bring in your contributions when they call out for articles. Let's know your experiences and let's put it there. Now, that said, Asante Sana. That said, I'd like to wrap up my vote of thanks in less than five minutes because I know I can talk a lot. I'd like to thank all the speakers, starting from our chief guest to our keynote speakers uh, and to the abstract presenters. All of you did a very good job keeping us in, uh, engaged and your presentations and your speeches and your um, and your and what you, what you are saying was very interesting, and we really thank you for that. You've added knowledge. I actually come to this conference just to learn. Sometimes I've, I forget uh, what, you know, when you move on to leadership and governance, sometimes you forget practice. And when I come here, I'm like, oh, okay, all right. You know, I remember one or two things. I would like to thank uh, the PSK uh, NEC, they gave us the mandate, the symposium committee, to arrange this. So thank you very much. Thank you for giving us the freedom to choose and do as we wish. Uh, the trust you, you've put on us is a lot, and uh, I hope we have not disappointed you. Next, I would like to thank the PSK Secretariat. Nani haponje ajongea na Rose ama Rachel ama Eric, you know, those people at the Secretariat, of course, with the leadership of Doc, Dr. Lucas Nyabero, Asante San, uh, Dr. Ivy Ratemo, Rose Munga, uh, Rachel Nam, Namungu, Eric Mwangi, uh, Dr. Mbao Gitao, I know all of you know, Hez, Hez, happy birthday. 
Yes. And Eric Muringu, all of you, I thank you for your work, for your uh, great spirit. I know sometimes things have not gone as uh, we wished, but you kept on. You kept on pushing. You've done a good job. Mbao Asante Sana. Asante. Right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Rose, Rose actually came to scout um, this hotel. And um, every time she was scouting a hotel, she kept calling me, whether it was on a Sunday or on a Saturday, because she knows the standards I like. I hope uh, it delivered. To my conference committee, Dr. Riziki, please stand up. She's the, she's the vice chair of our committee. You've been an able chair. Thank you for organizing everything, plus the, uh, the event we had before the, uh, thank, yeah, the conference. Thank you so much. Dr. Robert Miano, are you here? Dr. Michael Mungoma, uh, Dr. Christabel Haemba, Asante Sana, 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 Sana. She has so much knowledge uh, on conference, on organizing conferences, by the way. I think she used to be a wedding events planner. Yes, she is really, really good. And if you're a bridezilla, you will save hands with her. You'll get your dress and everything. Dr. Kate Wambura. Asante sana, Kate. Very, you know those people who calm you down, eh? Mkiwa kwa symposium committee, mimi ni kwa hapo. Christabel, na mepanda. Then she just comes and tells us, you know what, it's okay. We'll get this done. Asante for your calmness, eh? And Dr. Patricia Nyokabi, who was not, who did not come, but she brought in very, very new ideas, fresh. Uh, she's the young pharmacist in the group, and she managed to, you know, balance us out, and uh, we really appreciate her. Now, I will obviously go and thank our sponsors, Family Bank. Thank you. Asante Sana for coming on board. As in, the solutions you're, you're providing, our profession is going to take us very far. And, uh, you know, as I said, I think I said it in my opening speech, or one of the times I was moderating, that we really need pharmacists to be financially, uh, what do you say, when you want to be financially astute? Uh, yes, astute. And because we run businesses from a scientific point of view. <laughs> <laughs> so that our practice VP can, uh, doesn't have to shame us here and tell us that we are poor. No, 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 no. So come in, teach us how to do this, coach us, work with us, hold our hands, right? We are very able and bright students. Most of us had A's here, so Siringi, Nasisemi, Batia. And uh, we were the cream de la cream. And uh, I know we can catch that finance very fast. So thank you. And to the rest of the sponsors, Glenmark, Sajifam, L'Oreal, Novartis, Kemsa, Meds, Cipla, Jopaigo, PPB, Potipreed, uh, Biodil, Abbott Nutrition, GSK, Cosmos, Maristops, um, Acti Life Inertia, uh, for the beautiful bags, J Flex, uh, Kapi, Novo Nordisk, Bibron, Bayer, or is it Bayer? But we're Bayer Munich. Regal, uh, KMA, um, Vilgro, Strathmore, Harley's, Mega Importers, and the rest. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, and Camry. Oh, no, no. Yes, and Camry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, I would like also to remind you to do the very most important thing. You need to subscribe to PPB for your CPD points. Eh? You need to go to the PPB portal. 
you need to click subscribe for day one, subscribe for day two, subscribe for day three. Uh, the links will be sent on email, but we will be able to issue you with uh, CPD points uh, for attending. And thank you so, so much. You know, next year, as we have uh, been told, we'll need to pay, when you're going to subscribe to PPB, you need to have your CPD points, all of them, and you need to pay PSK, and then you pay your PPB to get your license. So it's very, very important. Uh, before all of you call Eric Muringo and call him, CPD zangu zimebaki moja, nitoe wapi moja, nitoe wapi moja. Please, subscribe. And just lastly to the hotel, Asante Sana for having us. Uh, we'll, we will pass um, a survey around to see if you'd prefer to stay in South Coast or go back to North Coast. Um, I know where my vote lies. Uh, there might be some improvements that are needed both ways, but uh, let's, we'll, we'll see. Uh, as I said, we have two activities that we did that were unique this year. We did the pre-conference training and we did a CSR. And next time, I would like us to engage and plug in, right? The training, the pre-conference training was very, was very, very nice. And I think next year, if you can be a sponsor for that, please let us know. And for the CSR, wherever we will go, we will engage the, like this one was done by the Coast Branch members. Next time, Kama tuko Mombasa, ama tuko Malipengine, we will engage that branch so that we can do CSR. And people know who are pharmacists, and we also give back to the community. Sawa, sawa. Oh, even team building, I forget. <laughs> the team building was very, a new activity, and I think many people, yeah. So lastly, I would like you, we're going to do a Snoop Dogg. You know what a Snoop Dogg is? I would like to thank me. So you, all of you, you're going to thank yourselves. Sawa. So let's, you have to, you know, you have to follow my cue. So say to yourself, I want to thank me for being attentive in this conference and staying until the last minute. I am an amazing pharmacist. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to rock this world. Yay! Yes, yes. So thank you to all of you. We could not have made it without you. It, it was very well attended. Uh, I think I've made my my targets. Najua nikuja nikuwa siposi am chair. I'm told kona target ya ivi watu agapi wa kuje pesa. I've made my targets. I just want my rewards. <laughs> asanteni, asanteni sana. Now, most importantly for extroverts like us, tu kona pare. Took on a party. Yes, party after party after party after party. So, we're going to have a drink up um, in the beach bar down, uh, starting from around 7.30. But um, you can come in earlier. Uh, please have dinner at your hotels, because it's half board, or wherever you'll have dinner. And please... Come to the party, ready for party after party after party after party. All right? So see you there, and God bless. You'll do your prayer. Please, just pray. So the president will, uh, pray the president will uh, pray for us. Okay. Uh, uh. Make, make it a short prayer. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, Makofi, uh, conference convener. Actually, that's all I was coming to do here. So, sorry, uh, Bonasio, what are you saying? Uh, so, can we pray? Okay, is there someone who wants to volunteer to pray? To close us off in prayer? Okay, sorry, I pray for us, yeah? I am a sports, so I'll bless you as a father. 
So, uh, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this, uh, this just gathering. Uh, I mean, you know uh, our hearts, you know where we are coming from, uh, you know what we've had to go through, we know what we go through and see uh, as we are out there in our different practice spaces doing your work of healing uh, in whatever role we play. Uh, thank you for just how we've been nourished during this uh, conference, uh, not just um, physically, but also just uh, spiritually, um, ideas coming through, um, and uh, just technically with all the technical information, and just being inspired as we go face another year and come back and uh, give account. So we know all plans, yes, man can make plans, but everything belongs to you, so bless our plans, and bless our place where we're standing, and uh, may we just take the ground on behalf of the public interest, professionalism, and ethics. Uh, we pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Ah, yeah. Nendeni, uh, blessed and standing secure in who you are as a pharmacist. Ningesema wealthy pharmacist. But Kadari, have you given me permission? <laughs> I just wanted to announce one last thing uh, for transportation to the airport.